Have you ever wondered about the moons that orbit the red planet Mars? It's an interesting question, isn't it? Well, let's dive into the celestial realm and explore one of these moons, the larger of the two, known as Phobos. Phobos, named after the Greek god of fear, is a captivating celestial body. Imagine a moon so close to its planet that it orbits Mars three times a day. Yes, you heard it right, three times a day. It's so close that from some places on Mars, Phobos would appear to rise and set twice in one Martian day. Now that's a sight to behold. But what's even more fascinating is its size. Phobos is not your typical moon. It's one of the smallest moons in our solar system, only about 14 miles in diameter, roughly the same distance you might drive to work and back. But don't be fooled by its size. What Phobos lacks in size, it makes up for in intrigue. Let's talk about its composition. Phobos is a type of moon known as a captured asteroid, meaning it wasn't formed in the same way as our moon. It's made up of carbonaceous chondrite, a type of rock that's rich in carbon and contains small round particles known as chondrules. This composition is common in asteroids, adding to the theory that Phobos might have once been an asteroid that got too close to Mars and was captured by its gravity. And then there's the surface of Phobos, which is quite a sight. It's scarred with craters and grooves, a testament to the countless impacts it has endured over the eons. The most notable feature is the Stickney Crater, a massive dent that stretches nearly half the moon's diameter. Imagine a scar that big on our moon. So, we've got a moon that's incredibly close to its planet, orbits three times a day, is made of carbon-rich rock, and has a surface that looks like it's been through a cosmic war zone. But how did we come to know about this intriguing celestial body? The discovery of Phobos dates back to the late 19th century. The year was 1877, and American astronomer Asaph Hall was on a quest, a quest to uncover the celestial companions of Mars, a planet that had fascinated humanity for centuries. Asaph Hall, a man of extraordinary determination, spent many nights in the United States Naval Observatory, peering into the cosmos with a 26-inch refractor telescope. It was one of the largest telescopes of the time, but even with this powerful tool, Hall's task was not an easy one. Mars was a distant world, and its moons, if they existed, were even further away, hidden in the vast darkness of space. But Hall was not a man to be deterred by such challenges. Night after night he persevered, his eyes glued to the telescope, his mind filled with calculations and theories. And then, on the night of August 18th, his patience paid off. Amidst the sea of stars he spotted a faint speck of light moving in tandem with Mars. It was a moon, a Martian moon, the first of its kind ever discovered. Hall named it Phobos, after the Greek god of fear, son of Ares, the Greek equivalent of Mars. Phobos, this tiny celestial body was a testament to Hall's unwavering determination. It was a testament to human curiosity, to our unquenchable thirst for knowledge about the universe we inhabit. The discovery of Phobos was not just a remarkable achievement for Asaph Hall, it was a remarkable achievement for humanity. And so, the story of Phobos began. A story that continues to unfold to this day, as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our solar system. Phobos may be a small moon, but its discovery has had a significant impact on our understanding of Mars and its celestial companions. This discovery marked a new chapter in our understanding of Mars and its celestial companions. Phobos, though small, holds many secrets and surprises. This potato-shaped moon with its irregular shape is nothing like the celestial bodies we're typically familiar with. Its longest axis measures just about 17 miles, while the shortest is a mere 13 miles. Its small size, however, doesn't make it any less intriguing. Phobos orbits Mars at an incredibly close distance, closer than any other known moon to its planet. It's so close, in fact, that it orbits Mars three times in a single day. Now that's what we call a quick round trip. This proximity also means that Phobos is being pulled towards Mars by about 2 meters every 100 years. Alas, this tug of war between the two bodies will eventually lead to Phobos crashing into Mars in about 50 million years. Or it may be torn apart by Mars's gravity creating a ring around the planet. A grand spectacle no doubt, but one that we won't be around to witness. Now let's talk about the mysterious grooves that crisscross the surface of Phobos. These grooves, some of which are more than 100 meters wide and kilometers long, have puzzled scientists for years. The most popular theory suggests that these grooves are stress fractures caused by the gravitational pull of Mars. However, there is still ongoing debate about this. The origin of Phobos itself is also a subject of much speculation. Some scientists believe that Phobos and its sibling Deimos were once asteroids captured by Mars' gravity, 
Others theorize that the moons were formed from the debris left over after a massive object collided with Mars. Yet, there is no consensus and the debate continues. Despite its small size and odd shape, Phobos is a gem of a celestial body. Its proximity to Mars, its unique features and the mysteries that surround it make it a tantalizing subject for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Indeed, these mysteries make Phobos a fascinating subject of study for scientists. And as we continue to explore and understand this tiny moon, who knows what other marvels we might uncover? So why does Phobos matter to us? Well, there are several reasons. Firstly, Phobos presents a unique opportunity for space exploration. Given its close proximity to Mars, it could potentially serve as a pit stop for future missions to the Red Planet. Imagine astronauts using Phobos as a base for Mars exploration or even as a launching pad for further space travel. Secondly, studying Phobos can provide us with critical insights into the formation and evolution of our solar system. Its cratered, irregular surface is like a historical record, etched by time and cosmic events. By understanding Phobos, we're not just learning about a Martian moon, but about the broader cosmic neighborhood we call home. So, while it might seem like just another celestial body, Phobos is a crucial piece of the astronomical puzzle. It's a testament to the fact that even the smallest celestial bodies can hold the keys to immense knowledge. In the grand scheme of space exploration, Phobos might just be a small moon, but it holds great promise in unlocking the secrets of the universe. If you liked the video please consider to like and subscribe, till our next space journey.